Hi Libra, it's Jodie Teresa. I'm back here today to give you your love tarot reading for May 2023. I do apologise for the delay. Okay, I've got the Lightseers deck here today that I'm working with. My lighting is not at its best at the moment, so do forgive me please. Forgive me for late, being late, and forgive me please for the lighting. The reading itself today is relevant for all placements under the zodiac sign of Libra. Cross watchers, of course, are more than welcome to join us too. I'm going to begin by looking into what it is you can expect to be happening within love throughout this month of May. Any issues that may need to be addressed and the best outcome for you. Okay. For those born under the zodiac sign of Libra, please. What can Libra expect to be happening within love and romance throughout this month of May? First card we've got is the Nine of Cups. The Seven of Wands. And the Five of Swords. <clears throat> okay. Libra, I can see you here firstly to be hoping and wishing for some type of change. Uh, bringing about emotional satisfaction here for you. Seven of Wands, you do seem to be focusing in on yourself. I will clarify what it is we've got. Five of Swords here, you are done in thinking about a specific person or a specific situation within love. Please clarify the Nine of Cups. <clears throat> We've got the Four of Swords. So you're seen here to be hoping and wishing to come out of some type of mental frustration. Again, bringing you this emotional satisfaction and fulfilment. So something or someone here is seen to have done your head in or is doing your head in. Please tell me more about the Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here, please? And we've got the star card again, hoping and wishing. Okay. Seven of Wands and the star. To me, Libra, it is like you are bringing your energy back to you. You are bringing your, your energy back to you and your power. Okay, so if you've previously... If you've previously if you've recently, previously given your a lot of your time, a lot of your energy um, to somebody else or into a situation, to me, I can see you here to be drawing back your energy. Please tell me more about the Five of Swords. And we've got the Two of Cups. So this is indicating that there is a connection here between you and somebody else. We've got mutual feelings, mutual respect usually the two of cups but again it's seen here to be doing your head in with that five of swords so a connection here within love <laughs> is doing your head in throughout this month you're seen to be drawing back your power and you're hoping and you're wishing i would say to feel better mainly on a mental level but i've got emotions coming in here too okay so mentally you're seeking peace of mind and that I can see here in turn, um, helping you emotionally. Okay, so you're seen here to be doing the work in some type of way. And that's not necessarily um, a hard thing or a bad thing. So bringing your energy back to you could be spending time doing what you enjoy, um, not putting so much effort into this person or this situation. Let's move into any type of issue that may need to be addressed. Are there any issues here, please, that may need to be addressed for Libra within love throughout this month of May? Any issues that may need to be addressed here, please? We've got the Ten of Wands. So this is the card of difficulty, like things being a struggle, feeling like an uphill battle. 
We've got the Lovers card, also known as Gemini. And we've got the Emperor, the Divine Masculine. Okay, this person may be being a little bit difficult, a little bit stubborn. Emperor, also known as the Zodiac Sign of Aries. So this situation is seen here to, to be difficult overall. Please tell me more about the Ten of Wands. We've got the World card. And the Six of Cups. <clears throat> okay, Libra, I can see here that you are fond of this person. And... I'm feeling like things are more difficult than needs be. So it's like it's unnecessary, unnecessary, unnecessarily difficult. So it's like things shouldn't have to be this hard or things don't need to be this difficult. Please tell me more about the emperor. And we've got the judgment card. And the two of swords okay they've come through here in emperor energy and they're seen here to be struggling with some type of decision two of swords here they're in two frames of mind as to what to do involving a big decision with judgment please tell me more about the judgment card why is judgment here please and we've got the queen of cups Okay, Libra, they're seen here to be finding it difficult to get their head and their heart on the same page. Now, I feel like this is involving um, ego, ego and pride, which can be the shadow side to the emperor. So it could be the fact that this person is emotionally invested in you and there are feelings there and that may be a little bit scary to them because that's then them feeling a little bit vulnerable. And then we've got this ego and this pride coming in of changing them. I'm getting changeable energy with this person. And that is exactly what you'd get with somebody whose head and heart is not on the same page. Please tell me more about this Two of Swords. And we've got the Sun card, card of liberation. Really changeable energy, okay? And this just could be who this person is. Could be their, themselves, their personality, um, their, their signs, their astrological sign. Uh, could also be the experiences that they've had in life or any difficulties they've previously had to overcome. Um, you, however, on your part, I'm seeing like, oh my gosh, why does this have to be so difficult? It's feeling like an uphill battle. It doesn't need to be this way. Um, yes, that's what I've got for issues that need to be addressed. Libra, this is not showing me that there's any type of action here for you to take. Um, if anything, it's more on their part. So any cross watchers watching here, maybe give yourself some time to get your head and your heart on the same page, writing things down on paper, expressing yourself to somebody close that you know. Um, yes, that's what I've got. So for Libra, into the best outcome for you for May. What is the best outcome here, please, within Love and Romance for Libra throughout this month of May? What is the best outcome here for Libra, please, for this month of May within Love and Romance for Libra? We've got the Ace of Swords, Mental Clarity, the Four of Pentacles, I've no idea, Eight of Swords, Page of Pentacles. <clears throat> I 
Okay, I am seeing a positive turnaround here when it comes to mental frustrations, which is good. Libra, I'm seeing you here to be being more practical. So whether that is in relation to your work, responsibilities, um, your home, your finances. So to me, you're shifting your focus. Please tell me more about this Ace of Swords. We got the Knight of Pentacles. You're shifting your your mental focus here onto something else more practical with that Knight of Pentacles. It is not something that's instant, so it's not like you're getting this done in a day. With the Knight of Pentacles being here, this is something that's taking some time. So, and it's something you're, I would say, that you're mindful, that you're aware that it's going to take some time. So you're heading here towards something new. Okay, please tell me more about the Page of Pentacles. We've got the Six of Swords. It is helping you. It may involve another person. Or you may feel divinely guided. Page of Pentacles and the Six of Swords here together. It's like you taking on some type of new idea. Some type of new practical project. That is helping you here mentally and emotionally come out of something. Taking you to a better place mentally and emotionally. So they're the actions that I'm seeing you doing. And that is what's seen here to be helping you. This is all very much in relation to you yourself. So it is a positive. The best outcome for you here, Libra, is that you're shifting your focus. Okay. So let's move into any oracle messages. See if I can get you some more insight. Starting here with the Archangel deck. Beautiful cards. Any messages, please, for Libra? gentleness be very gentle with yourself at this time surround yourself with gentle people situations and environments any more messages please do not hold back right now the timing is perfect and you are ready to soar spread your wings so this is like being in preparation for something here spreading your wings being in preparation to take off do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you're ready to soar. So with that being said, let's close off with the Abundance Angels deck. Any messages here for Libra, please? Attracting, not chasing. Anything or anyone you chase after will run the other way because of the fears underlying chasing energy. Instead, attract what you need by sending out love, gratitude and welcoming energy. Beautiful, very fitting messages. Uh, Libra, I hope you've enjoyed this reading. I shall be back again soon. And until next time, I'll leave you with my love. Thank you for watching and bye for now.